Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I got a couple of wines um, this evening. Yes, it's a beautiful sunny summer's evening here uh, in the north of England and uh, I've been tr slightly trying to restrain uh, our guests, our family, from uh, uh, polishing off these two bottles which I opened earlier this evening. And um, they're from Grand, uh, Domaine, Domaine du Grand Main uh, in the Côte de Duras in southwest France. Um, next door but one to Bordeaux if you want to call it that, using much the same grape varieties and making wines in much the same style uh, but uh, not much the same price range. They usually tend to be rather good value. Uh, so I've got a rosé and a, uh, a, a red. So the, the red is uh, Grand Main Rosé 2016. Give it a whirl. Well, yes, as you'll notice from, you probably can't see the levels in the bottle, it's, it's, it's getting close to the bottom. Um, it's um, mostly Cabernet Sauvignon with a little bit of um, like 30% Merlot in there. Uh, but um, sometimes when you think of Cabernet Sauvignon rosés, you sometimes think of them as being a little bit um, stark, angular, a uh, bit too leafy. And uh, here you've just got a lovely gush of um, rich berry berry and plum fruit. Definitely a red wine rosé. Some rosés you're never quite sure whether it wants to be a white wine when you taste them. You think, hang on, apart from the little pink tinge, what is there here that makes me think it should be should be a, a rosé? But here there is definitely some redness to it. It smells very enticing and, uh, well, uh, the, 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 the mostly empty bottle testifies to how well it went down. Yeah, juicy, rich, rounded, uh, Plush and plummy. I mean, it sounds like tasting notes for a, um, a red wine rather than a, a, a rosé. But there is this uh, depth of... Um, I can't remember the last time I had tinned plums. Uh, it's the sort of thing that, uh, that brings me back to childhood and school dinners and... Uh, yeah, plums and custard. Um, but it's got that, that characteristic of, uh, of like the plum juice that you used to get. A little bit of tartness in there just to keep to freshen everything up. Uh, but this um, juicy, round, fresh vibrant and um, yummy plummy flavour. Um, so uh, I'm not going to polish that off, I'm going to leave that, uh, put that glass to one side, grab another glass from another part of the table uh, and try the red wine uh, which is the 2015 uh, Merlot Cabernet and um, so the, I think the blend here is mostly Merlot, like 80% Merlot uh, with the, the two Cabernets in there making, making up the, uh, the other 20%. Uh, so let's give this one a little swirl and a whirl. Juicy, crunchy, fresh, leafy. Um, one of those uh, refreshing red wines. There's not enough refreshing red wines in the world. A lot of people seem to want to impress you with their red wines. So, but this is one of those that's uh, genuinely refreshing and um, very Moorish. Uh, well, I, I, it doesn't smell Moorish. It actually does smell Moorish. It smells like you want to get dive into it rather than um, uh, adore it or anything like that. It feels like a wine that you want to glug. It's got all its sweet spots in just the right places. Not too ripe, but ripe. Um, so there's this en a slight edge of toffee to these um, uh, plummy blackcurrant and blackberry flavours. Uh, but there is a hint of that leafy freshness in there. And um, there's uh, the, the finish that you're left with combines all those elements. That little bit of toffee sweetness, uh, that little bit of leafy freshness, and this um, bit like the rosé, the gush of fruit. Uh, I really like these the, these wines, and uh, they're very sensibly priced. I think both of these are, um, well, I haven't checked the price recently, but I think they're uh, hovering around £10, and uh, maybe um, maybe even £9.75. Uh, but um, I, I like them, uh, and um, unfortunately there's going to be competition for what's left in both of these bottles, but uh, I can't work out which I want to glass off first, but uh, maybe I'll have a little bit of each. See you soon.